everyone, it's Rosemary Myers from Myers Art. I wanted to share with you my boho um, journal. It is massive, as you can see. And if you saw what I'm doing, <clears throat> I've got two coffee tables, two wooden blocks, a pile of phone books and some novels on the top of those to actually get this in, in view. So I'll show you the cover afterwards because it took me ages to get this in frame and I'm standing on a stool as well. <laughs> so this is an actual photo of me uh, when I was 10 because on the back of it my mum's written a, le a letter to my sister and it says 1951. This is um, a beautiful paper clip. It's full of these gorgeous photos from um, off the internet, mostly Pinterest I think. So I cut a bit of paper here. Oh, this is this is embossed paper. And then this is some um, antique lace, some more antique lace. This was actually, um, these little flowers were off a big head of hydrangeas that was in, you know, cheap in the shop. And I took it all to pieces and it's all velvet. It's lovely. So they're held on with brads. Then they've all got little... I sprayed the papers. There's actually a whole series of videos how I made this. Um, so there's a little crown on that tab. Some sewing down there. Oh, I missed one. It's beautiful silk and some more silk. And down here, I love to sew in these ruffles, as you can see. This is a page from a, um, a book on flowers. Some more beautiful lace. There's a feather charm. I have lots of antique motifs like this from when I used to make dolls. And there's a crystal. This is actually fabric that I made the little tabs out of um, and I thought it was beautiful. A nice metal wing on it, on a pin, but it's actually glued as well. And it's got some of the raised paper behind it because I've got another signature that's in red. And then this one is, you can see it flashing there. <clears throat> so some of the papers in here are black. And I've made a little notebook in there because I do intend on writing in it. Glittery butterfly and then there's beautiful girl, little flower. As you can see I love sewing these and I love doing these little sort of, I think they call them clusters. <clears throat> this is tracing paper that's stamped. Another little cluster with an antique sequin thing on it. Beautiful antique. Oh, this, this was, the cover is made from a cushion that I got, like a, uh, an Indian cushion, and this is part of the fabric of that. So because these are 12 by 12 papers, and of course this book is massive, so they only go a certain way. So some of them I've made as little flaps, and some of them I've made as pockets. So there's the gypsy encampment. She's gorgeous. That's some, um, I cut those out of my machine. This is beautiful lace, which I thought went quite well with her earrings. And what I did with, I, I printed some photos that were actually um, pixelated. And I thought, oh, that's a waste of money. But I used, uh, this is part of a woman's dress. So I've used it as background, cut it out. Another little flower on some antique music paper. This is a lovely met metallic-like braid. Can't get it to shine for you, but some more lovely fabric with a metal leaf up there. This is a lo another lovely antique fabric. Sorry, I can't pick it up. It's too big to show you any closer. Beautiful antique. And, the, and this was, these are corner, it's just one corner die that I cut out on the four corners, which made it look really pretty. And then what I did was I put a slit in there and pushed the photo into the slit. 
this one I've got her underneath the fabric and this one is a little bulb on it and this one's got a little fan another little cluster there of layers and layers of things Oh, and then some of the pages have got this tasseling on the bottom of them. <coughs> I intend to write in it, but I don't know quite how I'm going to do that. A little moon there. All these charms I got off um, eBay. <coughs> Excuse me. And here's a, a tag that I made with all this beautiful stuff on it. It's got two little tags that fit inside so some of the photos I, cu I cut out with my machine to make them look pretty uh, this is um, this is the corner thing that I, I showed you on the other one so this and just like that that's a bit of the cushion and it opens like that and then there's the secret gypsies. <laughs> it's a good way to use up those wide laces that um, are too wide for pages, really. And then because I don't want it to fall out, I put it in with a paper clip. More sewing, some more beautiful lace, metal butterflies. Another, oh, this is wood that I, I coloured in and then the little puffy sort of dragonfly on the top of it. And then this is napkin underneath with some mesh on the top and some more dragonflies. In this one, there's a little paper clip there that matches the, the paper and she's inside that. And then here, I had to make these flat because they, they have to be able to slide out. Because you can't have anything there that makes the book any fatter than it already is. See, that's one I cut out on the machine. And then that sits there like that. This is some beautiful handmade paper. Oh, and there's a dagger on that one. And then this lady, I thought she needed something to look at, so I put the butterflies up there for her. So that's the end of that signature. So you can see that beautiful paper. And then there's a red one that's the same. It was going to, it's got three signatures. It was going to have four, but that would have made it impossible to close. Um, so I've actually sent the other signature to someone else with some of the photos for them to use how they like. Some beautiful lace there, silver. And what I did with all the, the pictures, I, I sewed around them. So what I do is I go slightly curved like that, and then I go around again with another curve on it because when you try and sew it straight, I can't sew it, I can't get it straight. So here's another beautiful tag. And then this side's got three little tags in it and stickers of, of butterflies. And I love that old lady there. I mean, this again is some napkin and another crystal. Some beautiful ribbon, another cluster there, and a silver doily and a pink doily. And then this one, I just cut out the the butterflies with a punch, and then they sparkle. I don't know whether you can see it, it's all sparkly there underneath on this. Shows through, which I thought was quite good. Another coin. Some more of the cushion, that... Um, beautiful flower. This is a bit of washi tape down here, and that's the flap from the other side. A bit of the cushion on it as well. And this one's got a wooden frame around it. I love those those girls. 
and then you turn it over and it's got a belly band with a picture of the wagon another piece of the cushion this one's got oh this was so, so, oh, i'll get to that in a minute it's off an old earring and another little cluster there with a butterfly on it Some more you can see i'm mad on butterflies <laughs> but i thought they went quite well with this book that stamp then this isn't a belly band it's just a patterned piece superb just gorgeous sparkles and then this oops what was that Some it fell off then oh it's just a bit of one of the sequins these are all antique pieces on here but i sewed that on so then this covers up the sewing i sewed it on by hand and then in here we've got some long ones the music dance and freedom on those tags and then we have <laughs> look at him <laughs> quite amazing and vagabond And that's off the antique earring. And this one's got some braid on and a butterfly that you can actually journal on the back there. I didn't want to stick it in because it would rip when you turn the page. So I thought, oh, well, I'll just antique it. I can write on the back of that. Another belly band. Oh, no, this is a pocket from that 12 by 12 paper. A spinning girl and then a little booklet with just some of the pages that I had left over again with a beautiful beautiful cover on that and then this is a gorgeous antique piece which is so sparkly it's just gorgeous some tarot cards because, of course, gypsies do the tarot. So there's tarot cards underneath as well. Some more beautiful silk. A little donkey for the gypsy children to play with. Another beautiful piece of um, sequined lace. And she's sitting on a background of this is fabric in the background which i thought she went quite nicely on some lovely roses down there another little and oh, that one's got a key on it and some more stamping on the tracing paper a bit of braid down here and that one's a tarot card a little bit of bling up there these women look gorgeous. And then here, oh, how do I do that? Oh, I don't think it's meant to come off. Oh, yes, it is. It's just stuck a little bit. <laughs> and it's got a red trim at the top there. I just like hiding photos in this book for some reason. Make it a bit secret. And there's another one where I've cut out those. The music paper shows through. Another beautiful bunch of stuff. And a bottle of wine because, you know, nice to have a nice drink at the end of the day. Some fabric here and, um, and some net underneath and the silk fabric there. Actually beautiful. And then that's the middle signature with that beautiful embossed paper. So this is the last. Oh, I'll have to put some black down there. Didn't realise that showed. And then this is, uh, these are off a necklace, these coins. They're actually metal coins and I thought they went with her coins on there. Beautiful trim there. Another little bunch of stuff. And this one's a teacup, so she can read the tea leaves. She didn't look very happy. 
another beautiful picture backed with that um, silk and then a little bit of embroidered ribbon down there with a rose on it. This is brooch and the um, it's a wing. And these are very blingy. Another little this is this is gorgeous stuff. It's got little sort of bobbles on it. And then some butterflies with fabric behind, antique lace, antique secret things. Oh, there's those bobbly things hanging down. And another one, this is an antique piece, piece of red lace, rose. These are cut out of my machine, out of silver paper, and then done with alcohol inks. And so is that. I'll put the butterfly one on the top. <clears throat> I love bling, and this gave me an opportunity to bling away like mad. Oh, it's got a bit of thread on it. So that's another another beaded one. A napkin on the music paper. Another little one of the necklace. Another little bunch of stuff from that flower book. Another one. You see, I love them. It used up all the scraps of sari silk and lace. This is another antique piece that um, I sewed on and then covered the back of it with that. And then we've got a pocket with that little girl in it. And this is fussy cut and then these are ghost leaves on it and ghost leaves on it there. And a lovely little feather. So more of those long, it's a good way to use up your scraps. So it says Gypsy, Wanderer, Bohemian and Romany. They don't actually, the English gypsies don't call themselves gypsies, they call them, they say they're Romany. Because I did a bit of research on them. And this is a wooden swirl with some of those flowers on. And this fabric has got uh, peacock feathers on it, which is rather stunning. Another one on some fabric. That's a tuck spot, which is got is held in with her. Thing on. And this is a little um, dictionary thing. This is beautiful. A crown with some sari silk hanging off it, and that's that fabric again that was the tabs. Look at that. The little tiny carriage, um, not carriage, uh, caravan, horse-drawn caravan. And then there's beautiful flower, some more sewing, some more uh, serviettes or napkins on music paper. And then a couple of massive tags. You can see I've cut this one out. And that lovely trim on it. And then there's this one with all these lovely trims. And a bit of the... <clears throat> this is a bit of the cushion and some antique lace. Where were they? Oh, in there. <laughs> couldn't see it and then there's a little another little one with all the threads hanging off there some lovely roses um, another wine bottle <laughs> kind of get drunk some more stamping and there's the horse that pulls the carriage this is that lovely handmade paper black roses and then some more of that lovely antique sparkly trim and then her on the back so I can show you it now the cover that's the back of it and this is the front 
and it's tied with sari silk but some of them were a bit thin and I thought see how thin that one is and I thought they would probably break so I just plaited them in that in the first little bit because I still wanted all the the little ends to hang down so that's what it looks like from the side and it sits on my desk in the lounge room and I admire it every day and go oh my god look at that so I sewed all black around the edges black lace and put the the corners weren't very neat so I, I hid them with these little roses so I hope that gave you some inspiration bye